Let's get him a Marauder. Yeah, we got him a Marauder. Can we get another one? Yeah, the luck. Can we go for three for three? Hell yeah. Yo, yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Seals. And here, today, we have a different kind of a video today. But before we kick right off, I do want to give a special thank you and shout-out to my newest patron, Nero. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the club. Here's a fist pump right at you. Bam! What's up, boy? Anyways, guys, so today, um, I'm on Seo or Shio's account, right? I don't, I'm not quite sure. But anyways, um, he wanted me to do, like, a one-on-one -on -one assessment about his account. So I want to kind of start off this new series, maybe once a week. Once a month, there's been a lot of requests for it. So basically, it's better than, like, a help or one-on-one -on -one lineup kind of threads um, or, you know, Discord channel as well. People do ask one-on-one -on -one help, but this, I think, is a lot better because instead of me just typing away one sentence in the YouTube comment section or on, or on Discord or on Reddit, which I don't really frequently visit anymore, but be better, it's better than that, I think. It's just much more detailed, and I think a lot of newer folks as well as some veterans can benefit as well from these kind of series. Kind of like my tips and tricks as well as do's and don'ts. I just hit my uh, <laughs> my phone stand over there. But anyways, guys, that's what I'm going to talk about today. He's on a relatively new server, all right? He's on server 495 Android out of the, I think, possible 522. Wow, a lot less servers on Android side. But yeah, uh, his server is about 28 days old as of today. And as you can see, he has a nice VIP 9 you know, logo or <laughs> tag, whatever you want to call it, medallion. Anyways, guys, he's a VIP nine, and he's not going. To, he's not. He's not afraid of spending. He has a very good income, of, of course. And I think he did watch my video about the the pay to win aspect of the game and how the meta is always changing. So you need to keep up. So he is budget um, is about a thousand and five hundred dollars per month. Now, of course, everyone's budget, my, my budget per month is not 1,500. I still get comments daily when I do leave, you know, like I literally show when I spend and how I got the money and things like that. I'm very open and transparent about it, but people still think that I'm spending tons and tons of money um, without actually, you know, listening or watching my content, I guess. They just turn on the video and make assessments or judgments. But anyways, guys, let's look at his lineup. He has 400 bag slots, which is looking good, of course, as a new player. That is really going to be helpful. And of course, if you're a free-to-play player or a monthly card holder and you are seeking kind of a newer player advice for that, don't worry, I'll be starting a new account next week. Um, most likely going to be on Android side and I'll leave the details about that in my live stream on Friday I don't have to go to work this Friday Woo! hell yeah so <laughs> I'll be doing a live stream on I think the server reset time I'll get up early you know take a shower and I'll be um, live streaming with the reset and seeing what the events are maybe talk about the events so you don't have to wait like 12, 13 hours for a video. So if you want to participate or join in that live stream, you know where to find me. Links down below in the description box, right? Right below the video. Anyways, um, let's get right into his account. So like I said, $1,500 he can spend per month. And so far, he's done a good job. But he, there are some tips and pointers that I want to talk about, some do's and don'ts. So he has a lot of projects, as you can see, level 100 Omivore, you see a level 60 Michelle, and things like that. And he's already told me, he's been very open. And if you're gonna ask me for help, I guess being open really does help both ways. One of the mistakes that he considered that he made, purchasing one, actually more than one of these, and um, these light and dark four star shards with guild coins. And I particularly don't think it was a huge deal, especially the light faction. We'll talk about that very shortly. On my main account, I've spent more than like 50k guild coins. In that case, guys, that is not, that is a thing that you don't want to do, all right? So if you look at his tech, He's got some in Warrior, Mage, Ranger, Assassin, Priest. All right, that's one thing that I would not do. As a new player, of course, even with his success with the guild bosses, he's getting rank one, 
and he's told me that he's getting rank one for the last what since the beginning of the server or whenever he started playing he's getting rank one that's good <laughs> he is literally miles ahead where his spending power is as strong as well his guild is not the best on the server group or on a server just by looking at the lineup um and of course the free team of arena as well as the crystal crown there are stronger folks so he is Okay, he is upgrading his mill order and um, he's spending gems and he can do that because of his $1,500, um, you know, his budget. He can spend gems on it and upgrading it. So going from three to four is pretty much worth it if you have the gems coming in. But I think that instead of spreading out all your tech like so and you're spreading it out pretty well, like you're not putting it into speed so far. Um, and you know you're not maxing out the HP and things like that you don't have to max out attack um, at a point there's a point where it is more valuable to point put points into this one so basically the second to last um, it's better to put a point here so it's 2600 versus you have to put what two points here and two points here to equate to a one point here right to get that one percent advantage so there is going to be a point where it's gonna cost more than having points in here but he's doing it fine um he's allocating his points correctly but the thing is he, he just has way too many techs as a new player you should focus on maybe one or two techs even if you're a whale maximum of three at a time and um so let's go back to his lineup so in terms of his lineup he has one of everything he has a warrior king barton uh, segment as well he has mages which is ada as well as flame strike i don't know why He's made it to level 100, as well as Assassins. We have Sia. Oh, yeah, of course, Scary as well. He has Sia, as well as Heart Watcher. And Heart Watcher, you don't really need the tech to let her live in PvE action, especially at these uh, lower level players, right? For me, I didn't point, put points into Assassin Tree for Heart Watcher like, until way, way past what he is, all right? And she had no issue surviving, even at six star, right? I mean, you saw my whole journey. He has points in Priest Tech as well, Vesa as well as Cruise, and things like that. And of course, there's Jara. And basically, in a nutshell, he has way too many projects. I would, in his situation, I would only focus on Mage as well as Ranger and maybe um, Warrior being third. Go 100% into Mages first to support Ada. And because you're supporting Ada, might as well support Scary and Jara. Mm, maybe we'll get back to Jara in a second and then number two priority will be into Valkyrie right for the Ranger tech um, for assassins I would drop all tech out of assassins and maybe a warrior just for Sigmund and King Barton as well because King Barton is very very strong in the Aspen dungeons seal land as well as the transitional PvP meta all right and of course you're gonna support Aspen as well but I don't think you could even nine star him right now so I would let that kind of go and in terms of the priests, um, I, I, heard, um, I think he wants to get rid of Vesa and dump Vesa into e 3 Ada, which I do agree with. I would do that because you're going to get so much out of that Ada. Not only will you advance in Seal Land, of course, he'll get way further in Seal Land, past 5 to maybe up to 8 at least. And of course, he needs the artifacts as well. It's going to help him in Brave Trials. Aspen Dungeon, he is number one on the server. He's got Nightmare 5 with an E3 Ada. He'll easily get to Hell 50 at least. And if he gets lucky with the waves, he can even get to Hell 100 with just E3 Ada. As long as he has full tech, as well as the correct artifacts, as well as the enabled tiers or talents, whatever you want to call it. And friends list looks full and he's giving as many hearts let's get him a marauder yeah we got him a marauder let's smash it real quick like so and we'll get that yeah we'll get ada vesa scary and uh why don't we use yeah like so and let's talk about pet of course on a new server how many stamina do we use one stamina so we just smashed it all right, let's collect the gems. Nice, and we can refresh it once again. Let's go. Can we get another one? Yeah, the luck. I'm so lucky when it comes to Marauders. So his choice of a wolf pet was a very good choice for a new player. 
I would opt either for Wolf or Snake, but Wolf is a little bit better, of course, because of the PvE ass. Can we go for three for three? Hell yeah. All right, if you're watching this CEO, man, you owe me some kisses and hugs. All right, that's how. Oh, man, it's so good to be low level, guys. That's 1,200 gems in a span of a minute. Ah, so there we go. Um, only three in a row. Anyways, so pet-wise, as a new player, especially if you're a whale, you're going to have issues with the gold because you're leveling so many heroes. That's why you got to be really smart not to overexpand into making too many heroes. And yeah, um, yeah, I wouldn't max the tier one like that, but I would max more into here because of the PvP, the speed. Um, but since he is on a new server, new account, um, he's not really focused on that part. He's trying to max his skills and the stats. So I guess that makes sense as well. But if you were to make a second pet, if you were to make a second uh, monster, then I would just level it up past level like 91, like so, the last tier. And then I'll max out this speed first, unless you're making a deer for PvE aspect or you want to also use deer for PvP. Speed is going to be king. But right now, you're looking fine with the pet or the monster, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it pet from now on. Anyways, uh, free team up arena. Um, I, I, I could see why you're in this team, but you're literally carrying this team. And if you want to be loyal to your fans, that's your, your I mean, you do you, right? If these are like real, like really loyal friends of yours, then yeah, I will stick with them. But since you're spending a lot of money and it looks like you, you're trying to push yourself to get rank one, I would literally just join the best guild and team up with the strongest folks and try to get number one and let that be something that you do because if you do get rank one and if you're the leader you can at least get the 10 percent more as a leader so you're not going to get five orbs you're going to get one more it's going to round it up to six orbs so you can get 24 from uh 20 yeah 24 from the free team of arena as well as pushing toc and crystal crown um, if you're finishing well you're going to be getting a lot of orbs and orbs because you're spending well because you're um powerful you might as well take advantage of getting more resources for that nice whale <laughs> snowball effect all right so if you are really loyal to your buddies then and you these are some people that you've grown to like and you're on their discord and you maybe you you use like a, a chat program to stay in touch and you want to just stay in this guild then that's that but if you really want to push yourself honestly like i would just leave that's just my opinion. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Is anybody even close in terms of even PvE heroes? Mm, not really. So yeah, I mean, even if you join the best guild on your server, I think you will still finish in the top three, top two for sure. No issues. So if you want to pursue that so that you can maximize not only guild coins, um, and since you're in a stronger guild, you're going to be killing bosses faster. So you're going to get more guild coins to stay ahead of the free team of arena because you are on 495. So you're in the middle range. So you're going to be competing against 491. Looks like 500, which is newest server. Um, they're pretty strong as well. But as you can see, the oldest server in your server group, they're also very strong right now because of that time advantage. So if you want to catch up to them, you need to like really push yourself in terms of getting the best free team up arena team you can possibly can in your server group. As long as they aren't toxic and you know you can work with them, I would pursue that. But like I said, you do what you want to do. And um, he's saving his orbs for events. I think saving, unless you're going to be a Megalodon, like spending 5,000, which is of course, if you can't afford that, that is not healthy at all. Um, if you're saving up for heroic summon events, you're doing well. And as for how much you're spending, so you got all of that. They're leveling rewards. This is looking good. All that armor will, of course, help you. And he's purchased all the packs in the weekly as well as, let's see, his um, monthly. He purchased everything in the monthly as well as <laughs> the weekly as well. So, yeah, he's, he's doing well. But if I had to stretch my $1,500, I would only purchase all the packs during the profit or event as well as the heroic summon but i can see why he purchased the casino events as well because he is lacking severely in the dust department right the gold department as well as the green goo but if you don't stretch yourself with the heroes then you don't need this as much right and casino event will kick in more gold um as you're leveling up more and more and speaking of which levels let's talk about these heroes which heroes should he not have leveled up? So Amvor, 
as well as Michelle, Kathuga, Karim. He doesn't need these heroes now. All right, maybe he leveled it up. I don't know the full story. Maybe these were the first five stars he got, and that's the five stars that he leveled up to use. In which case, yeah, it's not a big deal, but like a flame strike. I don't think I would have fused a flame strike into six star. I would not even use her in your lineup. She's not going to help you. She's most likely just going to be fodder at this point, a six star fodder. And I will just pretty much level up segment to eight star. In terms of your shadow faction, you can 10 star your Jara, but I would honestly fodder Jara into your Ada, right? Why? Because Jara, while E3 Jara can help you get to Hell Aspen, so can an E3 Ada. Not only that, she is the best hero in Aspen Dungeon, all right? The best, hands down. Hands down, all right? So Jara. Um, she can serve you in getting a rainbow aura, but to be honest, I would just rush Ada like you want. You want to get rid of Fessa as well, I would do that. And let's talk about other heroes. Um, so, like I said about Heartwatcher and Sia, they don't really need the assassin tech. Sia is, of course, a good PvE as well as a PvP hero in the transitional meta or transitional servers or newer servers. But to be honest with you, to be honest with you, the fortress hero is bound to be next or the next after that. And I honestly would not pursue or even level up Sia right now. I would have only focused on. Uh, segment right now. I even with a thousand and five hundred dollar uh, budget per month, I would only focus on maybe one, if not even the maximum of two heroes per faction. And if you're the monthly card or free to play, um, at past six star, past six star, I would literally focus maybe two heroes at a time. All right, so. Um, yeah, you, you, you just have way too many in the Fortress faction. I would have instead 9-starred a Ice Blink instead of a Sia and use it as a fodder for Ada. I mean, you can fodder Sia into Ada, but like I said, you're just going to lose three copies of uh, Sia instead of having them in your bags for later on when you want to pursue high-end like um, PvE when you start needing that attack reduce. Anyways, let's move on to the Abyss faction. Again, we have way too many projects right now. Cruz, Scary, and King Barton. I'm guessing you're following some kind of a tier list system and you've built these high tier heroes because you're following a, um, a what is that, a tier list. But to be honest, you're just making way too many heroes. They are good. Scary is, of course, end game PvE hero and you will need him later down the line, but do you need him currently? Of course, he will serve you well in the towers at nine star. That's where his power spike comes from his last passive, right? But the question is, should you have a scary? And do you really need a 10 star scary right now when you're going to E3 and Ada? No, I would say no. I would rather have King Barton and I would have not built a scary, but I will not feed him because you're going to need a scary. Cruz is of course a nice hero, but I would've just kept him relatively at lower star, maybe six star, or just kept him at five star. I don't think we, you really need Cruz right now for your PVP. Um, you're doing, you're gonna be fine just making Ada. And you started around the time when Ada was released. So um, you probably didn't know uh, about the game in detail, unless you were playing and learning the game or learning the rope on another server. An older server and then you are restarting the game on a newer server then um yeah anyways uh i would have built scary i would have just focused on king barton here all right so basically you're not going to have any fodder coming in but any of these you cannot you cannot use any of these without hurting yourself later on but i would recommend holding these off and i would recommend stop making <laughs> leveling these up just select one so as for the forest faction same thing i wouldn't have nine star heart watch i would have just kept her at five star state or six star state i had a six star heart watch and i was fine of course i did follow behind when um, there were pray for fire bosses as well as wave three of the broken space when it was introduced introduced into the game but yeah i mean for now you're not going to be hitting you're not even able to finish what Wave 2 of Broken Space, when I last checked. Yeah, yeah let me check right now. Let's check. So yeah, you, you, you cannot even like really scratch these guys without going insane with these tokens. So pretty much, you're looking good with the fusions and you're done with the, um, the tavern because of your high VIP level and militant event. Eh, yeah, you're doing well. You, you're pretty rushing it, but you're doing fine. And yeah, right now, to be honest, Basically, I would rush 
Ada. I would feed Vesa. I would feed... Oh, I really don't want to feed Jara and Sia, but because you decided to make a 9-star Sia and a 9-star Jara instead of um, something else. Because you have plenty of other um, high-tier heroes that would have sustained you in um, PvE as well as PvP. So, um, if you really want, you can use these as well as... You do need an additional 9-star, which you can build um, hopefully soon <laughs> in the next Heroic Summon event. And I would rush that Ada and baby Ada. Man, she will carry you so hard in Aspen Dungeon. You'll get to Hell right away, which will increase um, your promotion stone generation as well as everything else. And because you're generating a lot of gems, you'll be getting a lot more Heroic Scrolls as well. It's going to help you in Seal Land. And honestly, I would not... After, after you get this... Elite five star hero shard. I will not even smash in the regular factions. I would only f uh, smash light and dark. All right, trying to get that mim or aspen. I think you you should. It's better for a newer server to work on aspen um, because mim is an older hero, and most likely developers will be he designing heroes around nerfing. I mean, not nerfing Mim directly, but making your heroes that are kind of a counter to Mim. All right, which, <laughs> which is developers' hallmark or to-do list. And in terms of the market, you're doing all right. You're buying everything you can. Your gem generation is insane, right? So you have no problem purchasing these casino coins as well as orbs. But as you get a little bit later into the game, like I said, when you're just trying to buy. The ore packs, maxing out all the ore packs as well as the heroic summon packs. I would kind of steer away from these packs, all right? Unless you're still having the gold issue and the dust issues, things like that. And I will purchase these three stars for sure for alter events. And they're nice. I would purchase these as well. Actually, kind of hurting on gold and um, I would probably not buy those. And as for your weekly events, you're doing fine. You did three loops with the casino, right? Because trying to get those orbs. And okay, so you didn't hold on to the orbs. You're spending them. I would hold on to it and trying to do like multiple loops with the profit over events with your budget. As for the Aiden, I think you can complete this. You still have time with the event rates, which you are maxing out, right? You're maxing out the event rates. What about the others? All right, good. You don't have to max these out. Just be a little bit patient. Um, and so tower, you, it's yeah, you get Ada and you'll climb that as well. And yeah, profit orbs, I'll save that. I see you've been naughty and you've been spending that. So save that so you can do multiple loops of the profit orb event, right? That's going to give you more rewards than spending it outside of the events, obvious reasons. And I guess you're trying to rush a hero, but I don't see why you would. Ada, you're fine as long as light or dark hero is at 9 star. You don't need any more fodder from that faction. You will just get the 9 star from other factions. You already know that, and you're looking good. You have two copies. You could E3, Ada, ASAP. All right, so any other tips? Because you are a meg of your server, make sure you're finishing Crystal Crown Countdown. Oh shoot, it's ending in 9 hours, so make sure you get rank 1 for the max rewards since you are the most powerful on your server. Don't let some, you know, rat that's spamming last second to beat you. <laughs> and Trial of Champion, let's see. Hmm. Okay. So try to, you know, um, get into top 10, alright? Try top 10. And I think I covered it all. Oh yeah, Celestial Island. Um, if you're not having issues, let, let's try it out. Let's do one smash. All right, let's equip his PVE lineup. Scary, Sia, and let's put an Aspen in there, Wolf. If he can't kill it in one round. All right, so you're killing it in one round. So basically, I will level this up. I will level it up and make sure you get two gem fields and start some dusts as well. But if you cannot smash it in two or one, I prefer one, but if you can't smash the boss in two, then just stop upgrading it, all right? And if you want to see when it does level up, so make sure you check the Discord. There's a bot command where you can see when the Celestial Island, the boss, upgrades itself in terms of level and dis difficulty. So I will just upgrade it little by little until you get like the pits to four and get another gem pit. And then maybe when you get stronger, get the dust pits as well. Of course, I mean, what else are you going to get? And yeah, make sure you get that nice sick gem generation because it all adds up 
I think that's pretty much it, right? He's doing good with the guild rates. That's a plus. He's doing all right with the arenas. I mean, he's conquering one. Try to conquer more if you can without like, pissing off your buddies. And um, casino event, yeah. Um, so basically, he's really hurting on the resources. He can't just level all these up. And he's trying to hold out for the E3 ADA to make sure he upgrades it. As for the artifacts, right? Um, yeah, I would, I would work on this Kiss of Ghosts. You have the resources to do it. Let's see. Oh. Oh, why'd you level that up? Okay, all right. So insert that. Ah! Let's insert that. Okay. So he can't really max out an artifact, so energy artifact is a no-go, but you could start leveling up Kiss of Ghosts as well as the Fearless Armor. And armor will come with the shelter events. It will come over time with the blacksmith event. Make sure you have gems to upgrade the four start to five to five to six. And of course, six into a class armor. Did you miss the last one? Did you miss the last? Did you miss the last one? Maybe you did. All right. Don't skip out on those blacksmith events. You. Yeah. All right. Make sure you loot every 10 hours. Here you go. And pretty much do your dailies and you don't have to craft all these, all right? I will craft these, but you don't have to craft these guys, all right? Only just for the dailies. Anyways, I think I covered everything. So basically, don't work on too many projects. Have a set thing that you want to work on. Set goal is Ada. A set goal is maybe King Barton as well as Valkyrie. Fortress as well as Forest Heroes are up or do very, very soon. And we don't know the state of Valkyrie, but right now I think she is still worth pursuing, even if you have Ada for the Aspen dungeon. That's my tip for now. Hopefully the tips helped some of you guys out, all right? And if you like this kind of a series, make sure you hit the thumbs up, all right? And you know, leave a comment below. Maybe I get to do this more on your players or people with different kind of budgets i would love to do or review your accounts it's kind of a perk for my patrons where they could request kind of things like this all right make sure you thumbs up sub up as well as share it up with all your new buddies and idlers and things like that have a good one i'll see you guys tomorrow with some pvp action yeah peace